Right, so it's going to be a nice little 20 minute coromor sesh. Are you ready? So I'm going to start warming you up with this on as well. All right, so stand nice and tall. We'll start off standing. Core muscles contracted. Do our imaginary zips up. Feet about hip distance apart. Do our zips up. I just want a, and a chop. A wood chop halo, but gently. You know, not too mental. So I'm using this as your warm up tonight. This will still work your core beautifully, by the way. Just do it gently. You know, especially if you've been sitting all day working or something like that, or you're just tired, it's important you warm up gently. So you don't want to be doing this mental. I'm keeping my knees soft, my zippy area done up, my belly button done up, my shoulders relaxed. I can really, I don't know about you, I can really feel this, but I'm doing it gently. Yeah, I'm not going like a lunatic because I want this to be the warm up. Who else is in there? Oh, Amy, you're on there as well. Okay. So just keep it there, keep your zip done up, keep your belly button done up, there you go. Move number one, all right? And then I'm gonna go straight because I'm still doing the warm up. So lift, over, lift, over, lift, over. Now even when you do this, I'm using this obviously as a uh, mobility warm up, but as you do the reach, you should really feel your waist because you've got lateral flexion going on, yeah? Can you feel that? Keep your zippers done up, your belly button's done up. And I don't know where everyone else is, there's like four of you. Honestly, naughty girls. Not you, you're, you're here. So keep that going. Now, I'm gonna take that one step further, I'm gonna do your dive and your open. Your dive and your open, and make sure as you dive, you're keeping your tummy in tight. So it's like your waistband is digging into your belly, not our belly's popping out, yeah? So, all right? In and open, in and open, well done. Keep that going for me. Beautifully done. All right, we're good. Now this time you can have 10 seconds and you're gonna have some water. So have some water because I am going straight in. Are you good? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do this as a roll down and walk out. So when you're ready, I want you to tuck your chin to his chest, take a big breath in. Exhale, walk it out, reach out one arm, big breath in, exhale to roll back up. We're gonna keep doing that. Big breath in, roll down. So different arm extending out each time and roll back up. Obviously if that's too tricky, you know you can put your knees down and walk it out, yeah? So I'll show you that as well. So if, if you're struggling, come down, put your knees down, walk it out to a three quarter plank and then bring it back in. Yeah, so that, that's always okay. If you're better off with that, that's fine. Yeah, you'll still work your core beautifully to be honest. Nice and strong. Yeah, so I'm just showing you the knee down, but up. Now stay down, stay down. If you're not down, come down now. Sit back and stretch out your shoulders, release your wrists. Come and lay flat down on your tummy. This is the daily challenge for today. Leg pull prone abdominal plank. Elbows out wide. Just hover your face almost off the floor. Pull your tummy tight. Relax your bum and thighs. Pull your tummy away from the floor. If, that, if you can do that, bring your elbows in, turn your palms up and just lift your hips off slightly or come to a tabletop and breathe. Just hold it, just hold it. Try and relax your shoulders, lengthen your spine. Pull your zipper in and hold that plank. But do you know what? The one where I head you face down, that's almost harder. Because when you're here, you've got to try and pull your tummy away from the floor but not push anything into the floor. So whichever position of that plank you want to be in, I want you to do it for me. All right, make sure your zippy area is staying tight. Yeah, now push back again and release your shoulders. So sit back into child's pose again. Yeah, release your wrists, release your shoulders, breathe. Good girls, nice, you're all right. Now push yourself forward again, but come down onto your forearms. Now, you're gonna do swivel hips. Now look, relax your shoulders, I'm just swiveling my hips, side to side with my knees down. I can really feel that tonight. If you feel stronger, you can have straight legs and do it. Try and relax your shoulders. And if any of this is too much, remember you can be elevated on the edge of your sofa, you can even be on your wall, and you can be doing your swivels. Yeah, whatever you need. Keep breathing, keep going. Try and relax your hands though. I know it's a simple, but if we're like that, we put all the tension in our shoulders and back, and I don't want you to. I want you to squeeze, oh sorry Teddy, I want you to squeeze between your shoulder blades and I just want you to work on that swivel. Just rocking the hips. 
And even if I have my knees down, I can really feel that. It feels quite good. Sit back again, release. I'm going to give you one more move on your front. Come and lay down on your tummy. If this hurts your bits, just stick a cushion under your um, pelvis. Stretch out the arms. Hover your face off the floor, hold it. Do opposite arm and leg lift, but keep your face exactly where it is. So I'm not lifting my head up and down. My face is hovering off. And I'm slowly lifting the opposite arm and leg. Keeping my zip done up, just hovering my face off the floor. Pulling that tummy off the floor. If it's too much, cushion under your pelvis, or just do one arm, the other arm, one leg, the other leg. If you're okay, both, opposites. But remember, you're not flexing and lifting low in your spine. You're keeping your core contracted and then just moving the opposite arm and leg away. You can squeeze your bum a bit, but the emphasis is on that zippy area and keeping your tummy tight. You're right. Okay, sit back again. Release. Lots of releasing. Okay, coming down to Cossack arms. We're going to do a rotational plank with a thread through. And then we're going to change. Now, you need to have your knee down and one leg straight like I've got. Yeah. Under. Or you can have both legs straight and have them wide apart. Or you can have both legs stacked. And that's why I've got my shoes on. Because I hate it when I do this barefoot. Make sure your elbow stays directly under your shoulder. Your elbow has got to stay directly under your shoulder. You can, of course, do this on straight arms if you had to. But I like this one down there on those Cossack arms. And remember, if you prefer keeping your knee down, fine. Whatever you fancy is good. All right? Just kick those hips up. Okay, now, come down, lower your sides. Look at me and have your legs in, in a fetal position. Just for a moment. Okay, then come back up. On your side, elbow under the shoulder, knees in front, feet and under the bum, pull your ribs away from the floor. Arms up, are you ready? Lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Want to make it worse? Open and close the legs. My hip never actually fully touches down. Keep going. Okay, so the only person I can see is Joanne, so there's not a lot of teaching going on for me tonight then. All I can see is one arm and lots of walls. Joanne, I can see you, darling. You're doing great. Keep going. Yeah, you're, you're good. I can see you. I just can't see anyone else. Oh, no, I can see Amy's arm there and all. Oh, well, I can see an arm. So make sure your elbow is directly under your shoulder. Make sure you're picking your hips up as high as you can. Now sit yourself up in the middle. Hug your arms around your legs. Adjust your cameras if you can so I can actually coach you. And then over the other side, and let's do the other side. Elbow right under the shoulder, knees in front, feet and under the bum, ribs pulled up tight, and lift and lower. Oh, good girl, thank you. Just lift and lower, that's quite hard. If you want to make it worse, I'm opening and closing the legs. No, I'm not putting my hip right down. How are we doing? Beautifully done, Piers. I like when you have that little thing in your hair little cute. Keep going. That's it. Doing good. Can you feel it? Girls, if you're doing it right, it'll be really tight, especially on that lower bit here. Yeah, I shouldn't be killing your shoulders, though. It shouldn't. If it is killing your shoulder, you're not in the right position. And I probably should have said this, but if you couldn't do it, you could go on all fours and you could have just hip hitched on one side. That would be fine. You good? Right, sit on your bums. So you should have just kind of rolled round almost naturally. All right, you good? Yeah? Now it's core and more. So if you can take the weight onto your arms, I want to see you do a dip and a tap, a dip and a tap, a dip. I mean, I can do that without hardly any pressure. What I'd really like is dip, tap, dip, tap, dip, tap, dip, tap. Keep going. If you can't do that at all, squeeze, tap, squeeze, tap, squeeze, so there's something for all of you. But look, so dip, tap, dip, tap, dip, and tap, dip, and tap, yeah? Nice and strong. So I'm really working my core and my triceps at the same time. Your fingertips are looking at your bum, not the other way, yeah? 
And remember, if you can't tuck anywhere when your wrist is, just go here and do it. You all right? Stop. Hug your legs into your body, release your shoulders. Yeah, you good? I hope you're good. Okay. Next one. Put one hand just below your boot and one hand just below your belly button. Tilt your pubic bone towards you so your hands get close together. Look, just tuck your bits towards you. Just tuck, like tilts when I do standing. Right, that is mobility for your back, tight your tummy. Now you can stay with that, but if you feel okay, dip down, sit tall. Dip down into a C shape, sit tall. Now, how far you go, and Joanne it depends on your tailbone. You might come all the way down with me and all the way up. Some of you won't, some of you do tiny moves, and that's okay. Do whatever you can do to keep that zippy area in tight. You've got, what is going on now? You've got to keep your zips done up. That's it, keep going, are we all right? Good girls, lay down and hug your legs into your body. Lay down and hug your little legs in. Excuse me, boys. Okay, feet on the floor, head up or head down. We're gonna do single, single abs, but because we're not holding weight, we'll bring our hands all the way down the side of our body. Oh, sorry, boys, sorry. Whacking a chihuahua now. You all right, you two? Okay, imagine I'm using both arms. I'm able to stroke the dogs at the same time. Very needy chihuahuas again tonight. Keep it going for me. Head up or head down is fine. If your neck is aching, you must put your head down. Do up your zips, put in your belly buttons. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Bring those arms all the way down, the finger to tap the floor next to your bum. Keep going, girls, look good. Keep breathing, keep your zips done up. All right, boys. Keep going for me, looking good. Okay, relax your head down, if it wasn't already, hug your legs in. Just have a nice stretch through your back. You all right? Let's reverse that. Let's take our legs up. My leg weight is over my body. My arms are up. I'm going to tap down one heel, then the other. Yeah? Slowly. Now, if you feel strong enough, take your legs slightly further away so you're in neutral spine. That's a lot harder to keep my tummy in. When your legs are over your body, you lie back on the floor. When you come to neutral spine, you have to really do your zip up. And if you want to, let's do opposite arm and leg. You don't have to, girls. And if you find your rib cage is flaring out, then I'd rather you keep your arms still. Keep breathing, nice and slow, nice and controlled. Keep it going. Keep it going for me. Nice and controlled. If you're struggling, remember what I said, legs up over the body so your back is on the floor. There is nicer, stronger. Relax your legs down, you're good? Yeah, still with me? I hope so. Right, your next one, feel the floor close to your bum. Tighten your tummy, look where I've got my hands. Lift yourselves up into a bridge. It, this whole area should remain tight. Two options, option one is walk out and walk in, then change legs, walk out and walk in, keep your bum high. Walk out and walk in, so it's abs and arts. Option two is hold your bridge and just do a walk in. Walk in. It's up to you, which one you wanna do. So either walk, oh, hello. Either walk-ins or walk-outs. Whatever one you choose to do though, please keep your core muscles contracted and your bum up nice and high. Yeah, whichever one you're in. If you do walk-outs, make sure you keep changing legs to lead. All right, so you've got a bit of bum and a bit of abdominals, that's lovely. Pull your rib cage in as well though, yeah? Looking fabulous. Okay. Now this time we're going to put our hands under our bodies, put our hands under our bodies and have our legs up in the air, alright, and all we're going to do is we're going to do flutters, we're going to see if we can flutter down and we're going to flutter up. If that's too hard, just flutter up high, that works anyway. The reason I've got my hands under the bum is to stop any arch of the back. So if you need to keep your legs there and flutter, that's okay. If you can flutter little flutters down and little flutters up, keep doing little flutters down and little flutters up. If you like, no, just do them here, wherever you can feel them. I can feel all of it. Ribs caging. You can put your head down if you need to. Keep breathing, keep fluttering. The quicker the flutter, the better. Yeah, keep going, keep fluttering. Flutter, 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 flutter. I've just started to look at you. 
Yeah, I'm only sitting up to look at you. I want to see what you're doing. Can't hardly see you from the floor. I wish I could. All right, good. Now hug your legs into your body. Now your next one is a leg pull. So instead of just fluttering, look, you pull one leg in, then the other leg in. Can you see, like this? Off you go. One leg pull, then the other. You can still do this with your head down if you need to. If your head is up, actually physically squeeze. Don't knee yourself in the uh, face. <laughs> Look, I squeeze. Can you do it? I literally pull one leg in the other. That is intense. Can you feel it? Go on, keep going. Pierce, you can do it. Not single abs. Pull the bloody leg in. Come on, pop it. Do it for me. Look, look, pull it. And then pull it. Go on. If you're having one of them days, you just carry on, pet. But if it was you was being lazy, do what I asked you to. Sometimes you just, you know what I mean, I oh, know it's fine. If you can, pull it. Okay, relax. Hug your legs into your body, relax for a minute. Okay, we're gonna do our windscreen wipers. Option one is feet on the floor. Those of you know legs up, carry on. I'm looking up, knees and ankles are together and I'm slowly going one way. Big breath into the centre, exhale the other with my feet on the floor. Option two is legs up over the body. Yeah? Don't just swing them from side to side though. Option three, also base, is 90 degree angle. And option four is straight legs. Do you remember? But the art of this is to don't go too far. Some of you might be strong enough to get your legs near to the floor, but I wouldn't. It's too much. You want the artist to have enough of a twist, but not too much to stress out your body. Keep your zips done up, keep your belly buttons pulled in. I like this move. Yeah, just concentrate. Big breath in, exhale over. And if you prefer the feet on the floor, that's okay. Keep your palms up, keep your shoulders on the floor. You all right? You still with me? Yeah, I hope so. Right, the next one, we're gonna do a rolly one, so you're gonna love me now. Come up onto your forearms here. Now, roll over and put one bum cheek and jack knife it in, look. So roll and bum cheek. So look, roll and bum cheek. Roll and bum cheek. Yep, can you do it? Oh, it's really bad. Can you do it? Let's have a look at you. So you roll onto the fattier part of your cheek. That's it, and then pull it in. If you have to, are you all right, Lisa? Are you having a rest? What, what, just no? Right, okay, I think that was just no then, I guess. Right, so you could have just done it slowly. You don't, all you did was roll over and do that, look. That's all you gotta do. You can just roll onto one bum cheek pet. Doesn't have to be mental like I was doing it. Look, I can even leave one leg on the floor. And that's fine, honestly. You should know that by now. I'm never gonna leave any of you out. Okay, we're good, yeah? Well, I hope you're good. Sit yourselves back up. Sit up nice and tall, stick your chest is out. Shoulders relaxed, I would like. Twist, twist, reach. Twist, twist, reach. Can you show me twist, twist, reach? That's it. So look, when you do twist, twist, reach, twist, twist, reach your hand. Twist, twist, and tap the floor. The more you stick your chest out the bell, that's lovely, there you go. Stick your boobs out, relax your shoulders. Keep going, you'll look good. Go on, keep going, don't you dare stop. We're nearly done, we've got one move left, that's it. One, swear to God, I'm not making this up. Keep going, girls, go on. Keep going for me, keep going. You've got like 10 seconds. Keep going. Okay, good, stop. Hug your legs into your body. Release around your shoulders, and then we're gonna finish off in a plank position, so come over with me. And in this plank position, if you need to be elevated on the edge of the sofa, that's cool. All right, I would like tap, tap, jack, jack, four mountain climbers slow. Yeah, tap, tap, jack, jack, four mountain climbers slow. And if you can't jack, you can do two more taps. We good? Fabulous, you look great. Keep going ladies, you look really good. Okay, just so remember, nose in front of the finger, sit straight arm, tap, tap, jack, jack, four slow knees, driving it up. Tap, tap, and if you want to go for it now, four jacks and then four knees. And then one, two, 
three, four. Yeah, so either four taps or two taps, two jacks, whatever you want. There you go, it's over. That wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> Sit back and stretch out your shoulders. Sit back and stretch out your shoulders for me. Sit right back. Release your wristies one way, release your wristies the other. Okay, good girls. Come up on all fours with me. Come up on all fours. You ready? We're just going to do a hump and hollow. Curve up, but really high. Really, really stretch up. And now exhale. Stick your body right out. Stick your boobs out and look right out through your hair. Then stick your bum out a bit more so you feel the stretch in your tummy. And then once more. Ready? Curve up. And then exhale, stick it out again. Really exaggerate this, though. I need you to exaggerate here. Stick your bum out. Oh, God. Four, three, two, one. Tuck your toes under. Push yourselves back. Walk it in. Roll up slowly. Roll up slowly. Roll your shoulders back and down. Roll your shoulders back and down. Come back to me. Oh, bless you, Amy. <laughs> I think you could. I know you bear. You're hardcore. Um, Zoom crew, come and unmute yourselves. Catch up crew, let me know how you get on.